just rolling into McDonald's, the starting place of all great adventures. Morning. <clears throat> My foot stuck under the bike. Shit! G'day AusADV, right here just coming into the Talangi State Forest. It has been a long time since I've ridden through here. We're on a three day high country trip. We'll be staying two nights in a cabin in Tatang, to, to to something like that, just north of uh, Mansfield. Oh, we've got, uh, there's five of us. We've got Barry on the CF Moto 450MT, Mitch on the Harley Pan America, Cam on the Tenere T7, Andy on the Husqvarna CR650 and I'm on the old V-Strom. I pretty much learned how to ride this bike in Talangi. I used to come out here every weekend riding. Oh, hey, Devil's Staircase, Let's see what she's like. Pretty greasy feeling. Man, she's fucking, oh shit, there goes me mirror. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> snap me mirror off. Oh. What else would I lose? Nothing. Those branches hanging off the side of the track. Giving me a bit of problem. <clears throat> my foot stuck under the bike. Got <sighs> oh, my foot stuck. If you can just give me a bit of a lift to get my foot out. Just a bit of a lift to get my foot out to start with. Oh, that's better. Oh, thank you. Oh, mate. Oh. Before I had a little stack, just lost the front and the ruts. It's just pushing me around too much. Probably going a little bit quick. Oh, no, I think we're nearly there. Yeah, I can see it's opening up. We're there. We made it. Well, I made it. I hope everyone else is still <laughs> still upright and following. Well, that was Devil's Staircase. That was a lot slippery than I was expecting. Um, yeah, I think I've upset everybody now. So, yeah, we go with the next track. It goes up to Yay Rock. It's a really nice lookout. And then you've got to come back out again. So, I don't know if you want to go and have a look anyway. They can wait here or something. Looks pretty greasy, doesn't it? From memory, it's just this first bit's real rutted out, and after that, it's not too bad. It doesn't sound like it. No, it doesn't sound good, does it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, you're stuck on the crash bars. Oh, you're just leaning on them. Oh, nearly. Oh, mate, it's fucking so close. We'll try. I don't know if I'll make it. If you get stuck, just toot your horn. <laughs> oh no, we're going to go on the We're going all right. Oh, mate. Righto. Let's get on my feet. 
很热的嘞。There we go, look at that! Beautiful! Not a bad spot! <laughs> Should have bought the what? Tents. Tents, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that left roll was better. Try that next time, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> That was a nasty step you're stuck on. Well, that's Yay Rock. Really nice spot. Anyway, let's see if we can get out of here in one piece. Oh, I'm into the ruts. This big step, see if she bottoms out. Yeah, a little bit. Another one here. Bit of scraping. Oh, scrape me foot pegs on that one. Ooh, heating up. Hey, there's my little play area. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Quick play. <laughs> This is called UT Creek Road. It'll lead on to Skyline Road and into Hilden. We'll stop there and have some lunch. So I'm getting on in the day. It's one o'clock already. It's all right to plan these routes out and see how long it takes, but um, it always takes a bit longer. Chuck in a few stops. All right, coming into the twisties now. Next 10Ks. I've been caught out on a few of these corners before, they're just a bit sharper than you think. Beautiful. Hello, we're on Jerusalem Creek Road, heading for Mount Terrible. That's the plan anyway, we'll see how we go with it. <laughs> Another creek crossing. So just coming up on the EJ Road. This is Eildon Jemison Road. This is a really good road, especially if you're a road guy. If you've got a road bike, this is where you want to be. You see all those lists of the top 10 motorcycling roads in Australia? This should be up there. I've never 
really push this bike on the twisty since I've got the WR front end on it. It's bloody handling beautifully. These tyres are a bit more road orientated, which helps. Yeah, most modifications you do to make the bike more capable off road make it worse on road. But that's something off front end's better on road. There she's handling beautifully. Even with the 21 inch wheels, she's looking down quite well. for that front tyre. Off-road I don't. In the Desert HT I didn't have that same feel on-road. Which is to be expected. You go more road orientated, you're going to have more feel on-road, aren't you? Oh, nice corner. Beautiful. Ooh. Adventure Riders, oh, V-Strom, V-Strom 800. The great thing about adventure bikes, you get to enjoy these kind of roads too. Well, we've got 6Ks to go, it'd be nice to get past him. It's all dotted lines, I don't get that, like it's a twisty road, you can't see. But legally, you can pass here. Get a bit of that in Victoria. Just one more. Whoop. Here you go. All right. I'll better pull this down so I don't get roosted from Barry. I've done this track. I did it downhill and it was pretty easy. The next time I did it uphill, it was really hard. I don't know if it deteriorated in that time or what happened. It was really rocky. But, uh, oh, whoa. Shit. Probably, um, yeah, it was a bit hairy. Well, <laughs> 
Yeah, gave me a good warning to back off. <laughs> Boy, though, so far so good. We sent the Harley and the Tenere off first, so see how they go. Should be hard work on the Harley, I reckon. Tenere should be fine, he's on uh, the Pirelli STRs. Probably not the greatest tyre in the mud, but I think they're a pretty good all-rounder. <laughs> Lost me nerve a bit with those jumps. She's a long way down. You get them right and put that front tyre down nice and smoothly, they're unreal. Just a matter of reading them, knowing how quick to go off it. I'm carrying a top box full of food and stuff. Two ammo boxes full. And a dry bag full of clothes. <laughs> so I'm carrying a bit of weight on the back of this thing. Whoa, oh shit. <laughs> Far out, Barry got some air off that one. Oh, in that one. Oh shit, got a strap in it. She gonna come out? You might. Uh, she might come out alright. Oh, that one's stuck in the chain. Yeah. Yeah. Bit more, bit more. Bit more. Oh, you're gonna run into. <laughs> You need a, you got about two teeth to go. <laughs> that shitty old Chinese bike out the road. <laughs> That's it, you're alright, you're good. No, nah, yeah. Got him? Oh, they're off again. Strap come off Andy's luggage and got caught in his back wheels. Better just stop and fix that up. Bit of a rock step there. A bit of a steep climb to end this with. Oh, mate. Big hill coming. Just give Barry a bit of a head start, which stuffs all my momentum up.
Ouais, c'est là. Oh. There's the heart. Beautiful. Go have a look at the sign. That's it, Mount Terrible. That's our uh, cam on the this cam on the T7. Oh, was he right? Now if he's got a problem, no. No, all good. Yeah, that was a great effort on the Pan Am to get up Newman's track. That's pretty steep, that last bit, very rocky. He did well. It's a big heavy bike, 19 inch wheel. Gonna be looking into the sun, aren't we? Beautiful. Yeah, this track splits into two a lot. And it's hard and easy routes. Sometimes you don't know which is which until you're on it. It's pretty bloody rocky at the moment. Wow, beautiful. Now this possibly is the final descent. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Oh. Pretty sure this is it. Oh, that's a hard option to the left there. I think I've taken that before. You got a strap off too? Yeah. yeah. Back on the AJ Road. Oh, that sun's going down. It's cooling down. Yeah, it's been an awesome day. Um, one bad call on my behalf going up that uh, Devil Staircase Road. I've done that track a few times and it usually looks muddy and it's not too bad. But um, yeah, she wasn't good today. Very slippery. And I'm the one who paid for my mistake. I come off on it. Yeah, I tell you what, that uh, Mount Terrible track's hard on the gear. Something's going to come loose on your bike. It'll happen there. 